So, sometimes it's nice to put some time in between filming these so I can, like, do some processing on things I've already seen this far. And one thing is bugging me probably more than anything else. The season one arc where Keiichi killed Satoko's uncle has some details that still haven't really been properly addressed. We presume, based on later information, that Mion is the one who moved the body. Um, such that it couldn't be found. However, we have not gotten direct confirmation of that, so we don't know for sure. Hmm. Added to that, people at least claimed to remember seeing him at the festival. And... It really didn't seem like Keiichi just had the crazies in that arc. Like the first arc. Um, straight up delusions. It didn't seem that way. He seemed... Too lucid compared to the first arc. Not panicked or as stressed as we've seen uh, Shion and Keiichi become when they are the primary antagonists of an arc. Hmm. Or Rena, for that matter. So, I tend to think he really did kill the uncle. He was lucid. He wasn't crazy for the, that whole arc. The question becomes, were they lying on his behalf that he was at the festival? at Mion or someone's direction? Or were they remembering a previous world? Such that... Um... Yeah, that their memories were overlapping with a time that KG actually was at the festival. Because, at the time, of course, I was totally buying into there being more than one Keiichi. It was starting to be the only thing that made sense, with all the girls being on the same page about him being at the festival. And there is more than one him, if you hop worlds. I don't remember, did we ever fully confirm... That Satoko... Did we ever get to see him alive? Because Satoko claimed he was still alive. And... Granted, she could have just been delusional, but I doubt it. Um... I think it's somewhat conceivable, and I don't think this is correct, but it's one of my... The potential realities. That... After driving with... Takano, her, her taking him away from the, uh, murder site. Keiichi might have hopped to another world somehow. Which makes me wonder if Takano has more to do with whatever the fuck's going on than we think. Um. Adding to that question. What does Irie know? I think that's the doctor's name. Because going back to that scene where Keiichi confesses about killing the uncle. He seems to be conversing with Keiichi such that he knows more than he's letting on. Now, all the, these things added together make me wonder if this hospital has more going on than meets the eye. Why does he kill himself eventually? 
Could be that his research reaches a zenith point, such that he remembers other worlds and how horrible they are, and he can't take the pain, something like that. Um, but that's purely speculative. Because, yeah, um, Tomi Take also is a character we don't really fully understand yet, but putting the, him aside, because at this point, I'm going to be a little surprised if he's somehow at the center of things. I'm not going to be shocked if we get a little more information first, but for what we know now. Yeah, because those are really the major season one. Obviously, who's causing the gas attack, the the, the story of the, the six van people, all that nonsense. Uh, but as far as, like, the more person of characters we know about, like, we know their names, uh, that stuff, that's really the major mysteries of season one, not yet fully explained. Hmm. Link in the description for the non-timer version of this video, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of uh, Higurashi When They Cry, Kai, Episode 10, Confrontation, and press play on it when I press play when the timer reaches zero. As far as the intro is concerned, um, things that change, wait until after the season, at least after the series, if it matters, to tell me what episodes the changes are in. Don't tell me which episodes, uh, the, uh, what, what the changes are. I'll pull them up side by side and look myself, uh, as I feel like that's gonna be super cool to look at. I think after this, after this is Ray, one other thing, and then the uh, remake show, not the remake show, the new show, whatever's going on with it. Okie dokie then. So you're still trying to, yeah, okay. Kimmy Yoshi's probably a little bit easier to get on your side than uh the main uh Sonazaki's. Probably not easy, but easier. Ah. Meaning? Uh... 
Oh, okay, so it's the same difference. Ah. Uh. The demon hag, I love that they openly call her that. I have a hard time believing that. Uh. <laughs> There's just no way to look badass and awesome if you take your shoes off first, like all politely and crab. I get that that's how they do it, but like your your badass walk just loses some luster. I agree. That's not sure how this worked. You getting them on your side with you, you got the music and stuff going to your back. I don't really get how this is working, but sweet if it is. Um, <laughs> that was probably easier than it should it should have been. Whatever. <laughs> the Ferrude family might be just her.
Ne bu? <laughs> I don't know about that. She's kind of not. Wait, I missed the line. What was the line? And when you get mad, you're twice as scary as me. Oh, I gotcha. Starting the timer at 828. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> hey, 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 let's let's not get overconfident. Diplomatic, I like it. Ah. It really does seem to me that this is only an issue in people's heads, as they were saying before. <laughs> you little imp. <laughs> Crazy old lady. It might be a bit hard to come back from the cracking skull comment, but we'll try. That's the mom, right? Why did this- that- I'm sure they've explained this, but why did the possibility of her being the head totally skip a generation? Why does it go to Mian? I'm sure they've explained it, but what? Starting the timer at 11.33. In three, two, one, go. Are we talking about ripping off nails? Yeah. I'm not sure. Oh.
Mm. I don't know, that seemed that she seemed to be the most responsive we've seen her be so far in this show. Is that true? Okay. Obviously, we're waiting for the other shoe to drop, because things are going too well. Well. <laughs> Could be. Yeah. Yeah. Feel like she's got a bit more of a say in whether that's true or not than you do. I hope you're right. <laughs> Really? <laughs> Aww. Aww. Those were lonely worlds. Aww. Sounds like pretty good action. Okay. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> okay. Wouldn't it be hilarious if the uncle showed up? I heard there was some kind of protest going on. <laughs> I just can't believe he hasn't heard this is going on. <laughs> we demand to speak to the manager. That is not a phrase I usually like hearing. <laughs> Oh, 
Mm. Right. Has she done any work yet to get Satoko to agree to... The saying, what's going on? Ah. Okay. Don't tell me where. Is he going to fall down some stairs or some shit? Are we going to learn more about you as a character? What? Oh. Oh. Yeah, learning more about him didn't make him any better. Didn't expect it would, but... Jesus, fuck. <laughs> you might be the biggest coward in all this. That's good news. <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> awesome. Kind of makes the stuff with Oishi showing up being like you have to disband a little bit of pointless drama. Because they didn't, nothing came of it. Oh no. Oh no. God damn it. I was only going to do one episode today. I can't stop here. Oh. This show is exhausting. Sitting here like, oh no, what's next? What's next? Oh no! <laughs> it's rough to say, but I am extremely ambitious for a completely happy ending. Maybe not from this arc, but overall. I do say that there's been, I, I've brought this up before, there's been enough of them at this point. I want a crossover movie.
<laughs> between all the various characters trapped in time loops. It'll have to be non-canon, of course, but I think it'd be awesome. No. This was a... This is probably the scariest arc so far, because because of how well things are going. Don't get me wrong, of course, this, the, the abuse stuff is bad, but like... Okay. What? <laughs> 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 I like the idea that she'd be somewhat self-conscious about her age. <laughs> oh, obviously the abuse stuff is bad, but like as far as like positive things happening in this show, this has been the most positive outcome focused arc so far, which sort of makes sense, I guess, but Woo! I'm not stupid enough to think that it's not going to end poorly. And if it doesn't end poorly, I'll be happy to be wrong. Next time, guys. <laughs>